Joint Secretary for Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, BK Jindal, says State Mahu Department has failed to produce utilization certificates of 27 crore rupees. Chief Minister Nongkong Bambirain says government will carry out mass tree plantation drive in 267 villages of a cruel district under green money permission. Republican Party of India, A, an ally of Modi government, enters Manipur's political arena. Union Minister Ram Dasatawale inaugurates party state office at Kachampa. And Manipur State Pharmacy Council observes World Pharmacist Day at R&D Wing Hall, London. Hello, welcome to Back News. You're watching Prime Time English News and I'm Premi Thangjim, bringing you the top stories. Joint Secretary for the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, Government of India, VK Jindal has stated that the State Maho Department has failed to produce utilization certificates of 27 crore rupees out of the total 38 crore rupees sanctioned under the Swachh Bharat mission of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. He was speaking at the one day regional workshop on Swachh Surveyction 2020 organized by the Maho Department at City Convention in Palace Compound today. VK Jindal stated that the state government has already withdrawn 38 crore rupees out of the total 45 crore rupees sanctioned by the Centre for Swachh Bharat Mission for 2014 till March 2020. But the government is unable to produce utilization certificates for 27 crore rupees, thus hindering further withdrawal of the fund. The Joint Secretary instructed the state government and the market commissioner to look into the matter and to send proposal and utilization certificates on time. V. K. Jindal loaded the state Mahu department for all its undertakings under Swachh Bharat mission in the state but expressed disappointment over waste segregation and plastic management process. He also stressed the need for scientific disposal and treatment of waste. V. K. Jindal also urged the stakeholders concerned including local urban bodies and political representatives to strive for obtaining open defection free plus rank status of Manipur. Out of 54 crore, we have not been given the utilization certificate for 27 crore. So only 25% of the funds have been utilized. I request the government of Manipur and principal commissioner, urban development government of Manipur to look into these aspects and send the proposals along with the utilization certificates on most priority because all the funds would be automatically come to an end after 31st March 2020. We can't wait for the development of the Manipur. Safai Karmachari are the those persons not only which are our the regular rules but also to two type of persons which are collecting the waste from home to home, sweeping the waste or the rag pickers. All persons who are directly, indirectly are connected with my garbage are the safari. They may be all your contact workers, they may be your regular role, they may not be at all your connected, but they are your safari karmachari because they are picking the waste which you are generating, which you are not, which you hate to touch after it is being thrown. Taking part in the event, Mahud Commissioner Mongjam Joy stated that the state government has initiated various measures to safeguard and keep the environment neat and clean. Asserting that the Mahud Department has launched plastic ban campaign, Mongjam Joy urged urban local bodies to follow the guidelines given by the ministry. He maintained that people of the state, political leaders, bureaucrats and officers are equally responsible in keeping the state neat and clean. State Maho Director Tej Hari Kumar, top officials of the ministry and member of urban local bodies took part in the event. Cleanness work is a continuous process as long as we are living in this universe. So at least we should do cleanness activities at our 
household 15 minutes at least one day so that uh, we can pull up our neighbor or our sandals and everybody maybe take part in cleanliness works. Most of the health problems has come up from those things, solid waste, which should not be thrown at any place. So we should try to collect all those things and keep it properly. Over 1,000 people raised their grievances to Chief Minister Ong Thombambirin during the combined Hill Leaders Day and People's Day at Chief Minister's Secretariat today. Chief Minister Birin, along with Green Money Permission Ambassador Valentina Elangbam, also distributed tree saplings to visitors on the occasion. Speaking to media, Chief Minister Birin declared to carry out mass tree plantation drive in both the hills and valley regions of the state under Chief Minister's Green Manipur mission. He disclosed that a forest department is signing an MOU with 267 villages of Accrual District for carrying out large scales tree plantations on around 5 to 10 acres of land. Birin added that the government is planning to set up open gyms in the areas. He also assured that the government will facilitate cultivation of various fruits and crops to poppy farmers as an alternate to illegal poppy cultivation. Asserting that government along with CSOs will also carry out mass tree plantation at the origins of rivers, Birin mentioned that experts will be consulted for plantation of cannabis plant without harming the environment. Ukrul gitu, uji moyi ke MOU me ini saja. Nah, Forest Department ni kan nak tahu nanti. Malam ni uji ke five to ten acres tu moyi nak kira. Nah, Forest Wera kan ada koi gomen nak lawi kita nak kira. Atau koi nak no jungle semakut luhai bni. Hai di bawah land ke status tu di noi ke kun ke authority ke noi ke cendera bi adu ke status tu dum lagi bni. Koi gomen nak jungle luar nak koi nak lawi bni koi nak pot lagi adu ke gomen ke lama ikut Wera kan nak gomen ke tu moyi ni. Hai dina tu mai tak guna moyi ke koi ke Agreement nama inner raga kunjani ke hampir tarik identify tau re, madu ki posok koi sahaja itu na Green Money Permission si masih yang kah he na mai pang sahaja hai tar. Responding to impact news query over halting of works under the Nambul River rejuvenation project, Chief Minister Birin stated that dredging of the Nambul River is ongoing. He has added that work started utilizing funds sanctioned for the first phase of the project, which is worth of 100 crore rupees. He assured that 15 crore rupees will be sanctioned for the second phase in the near future and further works of laying drainage pipelines from Hiroshima to Nambul River will be carried out. Birin stated that completion of the project will take some time as works will be carried out from Hiroshima till the Loktak Lake. The Chief Minister said that additional funding will be required to make the project full-fledged and that the whole budget might even cost around 500 crore rupees. 100 crore mukhi project ni, ahan bagi saya. Ado continue tu agdo ini. 500 crore muk total gaya, kau ado maju, kahre. Ministry nasi muda tu kahre gaya hari apa. Malam ni mati kilometer mangga terasa tengkar orang ya, ado mina lok tak faham ni kau ini tau ni saya. Ado ado gaya foto, another 500 crore mukhi kau kau proposal thare itu na first installment crore, ani hum thadar kau tu madu gaya hokre, fuzi second installment mukhi ingana ingon da paula kau da 15 crore mak, kau ikanu tau ni na. Responding to impact news query regarding the recent statement of NSCN IM General Secretary T. H. Muiva over po possible problems of finalizing the Indo Naga peace talks between the Indian government and NSCN IM, Chief Minister Birin asserted that the state government has nothing to comment on Muiva's personal opinion. However, the integrity of Manipur should not be affected in any manner. Chief Minister Virin also assured to end the land controversy of Manipur House at Red Land Laitumkra in Shirong, where Maharaj Bodha Chandra signed the Manipur merger agreement with the Indian government on September 21, 1949, without further delay. Birin said state officials will be sent to start renovation of the historical site soon after the controversy ends. मुझे फ्लैग की न तरह का कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन की या तो की या तो की डिमांड हो देती मतो आई की फॉर्म न तरह मतो आई कमेंट पीपल पिनिंग दे 
Mori police along with various civil society organizations of Mori has formed joint anti-drug committee to curb drug menace and trafficking in Mori on Miamgi Nomad Health at Mori Police Station today. Leaders of various civil society organizations raised grievances to top officials of the police and government departments. Additional SP, Law and Order of Technopol District Police, Kate Robinson, is the chairman of the committee. Chief Minister Nongthong Bambirin has claimed that price of indigenous rice has increased due to less production of the rice variant. Speaking on the sidelines of a floral tribute paying ceremony at Samu Makong of Kwaidamban Market, today on the occasion of the 103rd birth anniversary of Pandit Din Dayal, Chief Minister Biren stated that price of mitai rice has rise up to 50 rupees per kg as petty farmers have opted cultivation of other petty varieties which are more productive. Chief Minister Nontomba Biren assured to facilitate rabi crops cultivation in the state to combat drought situation in the state. Using single-use plastic under Swachta Hiseva 2019. Food grain, the same area that we have is hanging. Is it? Seventeen, eighteen, gini. Last year, gini. Last year, that we have makhal makha gini. Machinery, sing, tool, sing, same area. That is agriculture. Gini, like the park, same number of land. Gini, and then what is that? Taugi, ma madu gini. Fall in, lawi. Hundred years, like what? Three days. That we have drought. Thoe. Drought. Thoe. Gini. So, that we have nahan. That we have high bad. Maina. That we have six crore ma order. Gini. That we have thado kare. Ravi crops. Gini. Anu ba. से सेंग या फोग याद रखें दी करी गेहूँ था कदर न तरकना करी करी मखल मखा था कदर के है भी तो क्या फिर पाक करो तरुकों में था तो करें नों खरे लाख पनी ना लोइन मक लोक पे याद है बदुम दी ताऊरो रो खरे गई दी लोक पे आगने न खली से न ड्राव लोक थोक रे बनी ना सेंडर के तीमा मुझे यंगसिन बला आगने Union Minister of State for Social Justice and Empowerment, Ramdas Atawale, reached Imphal on two-day state visit today and inaugurated the Office of Manipur State Committee of Republican Party of India A, an allied party of Prime Minister Narendra Modi led government. Right after his arrival at Imphal International Airport at 2.30 p.m., Ramdas Atawale went on to inaugurate the party state office at Kashampat Churchandpur Parking. The union minister then attended a reception function organized by Republican Party of India A, Manipur State Committee at the Trade and Exhibition Center in Lamboy, Kong. Speaking at the event, Ram Dasatawale announced entry of his party in the political arena of Manipur. Asserting that Manipur is the most important state in Northeast India, the union minister assured that his party will strive for enhancement of education, economy and various other sectors in Manipur. Convener of Republican Party of India A, Manipur State Committee, Mahesh Taunaujam, Nordi is in charge of the party, Binot Nikhil and President of Assam State Committee, Hitesh Diori, attended the event. And therefore, today, I came here to build up my party, Republican Party of India, which party is also following the philosophy of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Baba Sahib Ambedkar is the architect of Indian constitution, and we are also very proud about Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, because Baba Sahib Ambedkar is also our best leader, our good leader, very good philosopher, 
and therefore we accepted the philosophy of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar and I am running the party of Baba Sahib Ambedkar, the Republican Party of India. This is our party, a Republican Party of India, a Dalit, a tribal, a other backward class, a minority, a Christian minority, a Muslim minority and the Republican Party is also supporting our party, all the people of the world want to come together and the people of the world want to come together Convener of Manipur People Democratic Alliance MPDA Thokchum Inaucha asserted that Indo Naga Framework Agreement, Citizen Amendment Bill CAB, One Language, One Nation, and the New Motors Vehicle Amendment Act cannot be implemented in the state. One day protest demonstration against the same was carried out in front of Manipur People's Party MPP office today. Speaking to media, Inalcha warned that MPDA will not remain silent if the conclusion of Indo Naga peace talks ever threatens the integrity of the state. He demanded the state government to prove the BJP led central government's assurance that implementation of citizenship. Amendment bill would not harm the state. He further demanded the state government not to implement the new Motor Vehicle Act in Manipur like it was discarded in some states of the country. Political party singer Asina, Lady Alliance Asina, Akogi, Manipur, Premak, Agrimena, Makalamatagi, Akaiba, Akogi, Manipur, Integrity, the Akaiba PB Yaroi, Hibasi, Maruiba, Akogi, Men, Akogi, Ezendani, Indonaga, Pistoki, Akogi, India Government, Amasung, NSN, Iangi Murta, Sanariba Santigi, Wariasi, Akoi, Tranesina, Akoi, Taram, the Woi, Adu, Masina Karigumba, Manipurigi, Territorial Integrity, the Akaiba, Pirkatoba, Wapam Lakwa Taragadi, Akranesina, Akoi, Suga, Yabanga Moi, Aduna, Nasi, Langak Pai Biriba, Akoi, Lady Vasi, and Biren, the Singba, Gome, Nasina. Masi Manunga Yauriba, Prema Agreement Manunga Yauriba, then the Zenda say, Karino Hibasi, Manipurgi Miam, the Atubumatangi Matunda, Manunga Lautonga, Koygi, Pranashina, Dimantori. Speaking further, Tautom Inaucha condemned that the government has failed to maintain international route like Infal Mori Road and National Highway Infal Dimapu Road. Till date, despite chanting, go to hills and go to village slogans. He expressed disappointment that water easily gets collected in potholes of the roads in high security zone, even at the slightest drizzles. He now to appeal to the chief minister to rectify such improper planning. I go to Lenga Gasina, sing the Sassi, Kungung the Sassi, go to Skun, go to Biles, go to Hill Hire, sing the Kaitabak to Rigib, in Pan Dimapu Lambizi, Zixat Piadre, in Pan Zirivam Lambigi, Oriba Pibum, Karipium de la Rigiba, Makoigi, election mini pesoda, Akoigi Numit, Samagi Manunda, Akoigi, Pulanglang and Genia Hidena, Wasak the Yaugiba, Dumla, Maruiba, Lambizing Neva, sing my wrong the Gina, Kaino Bogi, Marx Date Ladyba, no Kitang Chubada, Sing Zeta, Oberflo Toriba, Sumba Boba, Siam Bangam Daba, Yangsan Bahita. Traffic in your own teasing, say, Sanabangam Deva. Me out the zoo, Quaggy, light signet or signet semzele. Me out in a traffic policy, me a taste, the Luita Uniba. I go to me out ready, Tarpiki, Quaggy can use it, Tobung, Hai Treva. Summa, my am say, Quaggy on Evans, Siemna, a convenient Sang view, Singa Kutka Mana view. United Committee Manipur UCM will convey an old political party meeting on the possible settlement of Naga Peace Accord on October 1st. UCM in a press release appealed to representatives of all the political parties of the state to take part in the meet. Apun Bairi Paki Mahiroi Singh Panglub Ames has demanded refund of monthly school fees collected by Standard Robert Higher Secondary School Kanchipur for those months when classes were not conducted. Speaking to media at Ames office in Kwakaithal today, Ames President Kate Roman stated that classes in the school were on hold from July 18 to August 16 due to the mysterious death of a girl student of the school. He condemned that the school authority has charged monthly fees even for those month forum students. Roman demanded the school authority to refund the fees at the earliest. Okay, July Tang Taraga Nipan de Gina, Agaski Tang Taraga, Tarukwa Miang Uba Ihog Dagi, last of Pangana Laki but Patrasing Dagi, Stenobaki, School of Thirteen, Tamagi Fi Lomba C Msna Kamamong Jazaninde, Madam D like Sukam Tamdan of School Gi Fi Low Bahai say Madam Sukasade, Aduna School of Thirteen, Atuba Matamda, Lokshan Giva Sen Pam Sing the Ado, Ang Sing the Hanto Kotovani have a say Ms Kimaka Dig Tamzari. School Gi Fia see Hantokta Taragadi Levak Mia Ms Kal Kusanaragal, Akamamong the Pongan Singh Lagan. 
And on that note, it's time, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on fire mishap in a house near Sagolban, Tangabad. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. A house belonging to one 65-year-old Kate Surzakanta, son of Kate Tomcho, near Sagolban, Thangabad, under Lamphal Police Station in Imphal West District, caught fire today. According to Impact News sources, the incident occurred at around 1.30 p.m. The fire destroyed properties in seven rooms of the house. Manipur Fire Service doused the fire and stopped it from spreading further. Sources of the fire still unknown. Lamphal Police has registered a case and investigations are going on. Manipur State Pharmacy Council observed World Pharmacy State 2019 at R&D Wing Hall in Lumpel today. The event was held on a theme, Safe and Effective Medicines for All. Speaking on occasion, Director of Health Services Dr. K. Rajo stated that pharmacists play, and play a pivotal role in health sector delivery sector. He urged the public to appreciate the contributions of pharmacists. Dr. K. Rajo disclosed that the state government is planning to keep a pharmacist in every government health centers of the state. Renowned pharmacists of the state and many students took part in the event. Ladybug Community Health Center, the Primary Health Center, this was a pharmacist in Loyal Lake, the Koya Hoja Hogulaiba, Koyi Satra Satri Singasi, Koya Pazana Moibu Yokot Pitana, Koy Doctor Lake Tabamatam the Sumo in a Mahut Silaga, Yakoi, Doctor Girol Amalorga, safe, effective, and efficient medicines, Yakoi Pina Naba, Pandam Amani, Loyana Yakoina, state level, the district level, the Adegi central level, the Koy meeting. Sixteen members team of teachers and students of Manipur Art and Culture Government Dance College left Imphal today to participate in Namaste India Festival to be held at Tokyo in Japan from September 26 to October 11. Flagging off team from Manipur Cultural University, Director of Art and Culture A. Shivada stated that Twelve universities will showcase their respective traditional items and compete during the festival. Seven-day skill training of rural youth and on nursery management kicked off at a conference hall of ICAR Krishi Vigyan Kendra in Pearsomon DTR Waichara Chanpur district today. National Institute of Agriculture Extension Management managed Hyderabad sponsored the program. Senior scientist and head of ICAR KVK Churachanpur, Dr. S. Roma, SMS Horticulture and Course Director of ICAR KVK Churachanpur, Peach Sandramani and 21 people, including farmers and women folk of the area, took part in the event. ICDS Project Imphal One Sawombong organized a rally on month long Rashtriya Portion Ma National Nutrition Month 2019 observance at Yangang Pokpi Bazaar today. Teachers and students of Goodwill Christian High School Yangang Pokpi took part in the rally. A rally spreading message to stop single use plastic under Sochta Hiseba 2019 was carried out at Kakching District today. The rally under the theme Plastic Waste. Shramdhan started from Kakching Municipal Council office and went through Kakching Jumnang DC Road, Kakching Bazaar and ended at Yumbi Macha High School ground. Members of Kakching Municipal Council clubs, organizations, student organizations and students in the district participated in the rally. Medical Superintendent of Chenims, Dr. N. Jitendra, asserted that 
Chenham's hospital can successfully treat neurosurgery patients like any other private hospitals. Speaking to media at his Chenham's office about the successful head tumor surgery performed on a 76 years old woman from Lilong Nungai by a team led by Chenham's neurosurgeon Dr. A. M. Amid. On September 9th, Dr. Jitendra maintained that Janam's hospital has improved a lot and that operation was conducted at minimal cost. He also mentioned that fully equipped Janam's neurosurgery department is opening in the near future. Dr. N. Jitendra urged patients to get treatment from Janam's instead of spending huge amount of money at private hospitals. Neurosurgery ward, a novamatam de la Lagani, Honorable Sim Minister Gi, instruction Gimatungina, a way Miam Gi the Magta, a way she the Hegi Ariba Makai, Operation Neurosurgery Gi, Honanaba, Hoy, Hoziki, when a Dika and a Savo operation, a way microscope nursing by Wat Padagi, Tobangam Dragasu, Miam Gi the Magta, Jenims Amadi, Neurosurgery Gi Tim, Luna Lunina, Sigi Operation Sito Giba, Doctor Amit Aduga, Ate Doctor Singh. And on the other hand, Special Scientist Team of Atomic Energy Regulation Board, Mumbai has sealed unlicensed X-ray machines kept at RIMS and Janams hospitals. The scientist team has been inspecting X-ray and radiotherapy machines kept at various private and government hospitals of the state since yesterday. The team sealed the X-ray machines of RIMS and Janams against violation of atomic energy radio radiation protection rules 2004 the team will further inspect government and private diagnostic centers of the state tomorrow district health society churchanpur organized one day free medical camp at mata village in the district today speaking at the event churchanpur district em adc p Kamkolal Wi-Fi loaded staff and officials of District Health Society to Rachanpur for organizing the camp in the village. He further appealed to the villagers to avail benefits provided under CMHT, PMJAY and to maintain cleanliness. More than 120 villages were registered for CMHT, PMJAY at the camp. Imphal Heart Institute IHI in Sagol Ban Moirang Lairag Health and Awareness Program on My Heart, Your Heart in View of Your, Your World Heart Day 2019 at the Conference Hall of Imphal East SP Office today. The program was held on a theme, Heart Related Diseases Calm Workshop on CPR, Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation. Chief Cardiologist of Imphal Heart Institute, Dr. Gates, gel and stress on heart-related topics at the event. Imphal East SP Jogesh Chandra Hobijam took part in the event. Special Judge Boxo at Imphal West today remanded a Mollus accused tuition teacher into police custody for seven days. The teacher allegedly molested a girl student at a tuition center in an undisclosed area of Imphal West District while she was climbing down the stairs towards home after tuition on September 19. Imphal West women police arrested a teacher after the girl's parents filed a complaint to the police yesterday. A combined team of Moria Commando and 12 Assam Rifles arrested three drug peddlers at Kudengtabi in Kangnopal district yesterday. The miscreants are 32-year-old Helkojin Mate, son of Onkolun Mate from K. Molsang village near Moria College, 36-year-old Haukele Tautang, son of Helkem Tautang and 19-year-old Empires Zamkomang Machong, son of Zon Janglet from Zaunum Noam village near Kuding Tabi. The team sees 50,000 worlds as your tablets, one black colored and one red colored TV scooter, and DORQ and one black colored Kenbo bike without registration number, and three mobile handsets from them. The screens we are handed over to Mori Police Station for necessary actions.
A team of Yaripok police led by ASI of Yaripok police station W. Sofia apprehended a woman with one kg of opium during a frisking operation at Yaripok Bhamon Laikai this afternoon at around 1. The woman is 43-year-old Kikim Waifai, wife of Minlun Waifai from Saigang, Phailinjang village under Nongpok Sekmai police station. Yaripok police has re registered a case against Kikim. One Longjum Ngantoiba Mitai, aged about 21 years, son of Sunil from Bisham Thong Oinam Lakai in Pal West District, is untraceable. Since 7.30 p.m. of September 18, he's about 5.5 feet tall, slim, has round face, shaped face and fair complexion. Ngantoiba was last seen in a drug, dark grey coloured figure shirt and blue jeans. Whereabouts of the missing person may be informed at the nearest police station or to contact Nantoiba's father mobile number na eight nine seven four two one two two three four. Prachia Natta Sankritana Samaj organized the 39th Tal and Ramjil event at Thangjam Mandap in Kurai Thangjam Lake today. Attendees paid floral tributes to the portrait of late Natta Sankritan Gurus and Tal and Ramjil performances were showcased in their honor at the event. People's Liberation Army PLA reportedly observed its 41st Foundation Day at the Outfits General Headquarters, Tactical Command, Strategic Command, 252 Mobile Battalion, other units, departments, stations, various areas under the Outfits Central Bureau and at other places inside and outside the state today. The prescribed outfit is in a press release informed that party members hosted a flag and paid tributes to their late members on the occasion. The outfit also asserted that members of various departments of the outfit along with the public hung Red Star Festoon and Red Stars of PLA at Division 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 areas under the outfit Central Bureau to mark the day. District Magistrate Imphal East in a press release has prohibited bursting of firecrackers and gambling under its jurisdiction during Durga Puja or Panthoibi Ratpa and Diwali celebrations. Three-day state-level archery championship organized by Kaitil Manbi Battalion of 9th Sector Sam Rifles under the AG's headquarter. IGAR sought in collaboration with Manipur Archery Association since September 23rd concluded today. Speaking at the valedictory event, Deputy DIG of 9th Sector Sam Rifles, Colonel Siddhar Chandra loaded sports persons of the state. He asserted that Assam Rifles have been promoting sports activities in the state. SH Manorama back gold medal and women category compound round and H Sima of Sai RC backed gold medal and women category recurved round while A Amarjit of NSA secured gold medal in men category recurved round of the championship. Manipur is a state which uh, has given birth to lot many sports women and men who've done tremendously well for the country. So it is a very onerous uh, task for the Assam Rifles that apart from the other things which we do, we also promote uh, sports and uh, other such activities amongst the youth in Manipur so that uh, Manipur produces more and more sports women and sports men who further go on and uh, do well for the country and within the country as well as abroad. YAS department has conducted selection trials to select wrestlers for representing Manipur in under-19 category belt wrestling event of National School Games to be held at Dholpur in Rajasthan. 14 wrestlers were selected in the selection trials held at Kuman Lampak Indoor Hall today. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Joint Secretary for Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs VK Jindal says State Maho Department has failed to produce utilization certificates of 27 crore rupees. Chief Minister Nongpong Bambirin says government will carry out mass tree plantation drive in 267 villages of a cool district under Green Manipur Mission.
Republican Party of India A and Allied of Modi government enters Manipur's political arena. Union Minister Ram Das Athawale inaugurates party state office at Kishan. And Manipur State Pharmacy Council observes World Pharmacist Day at R&D Wing Hall, Alumphed.